Hello there. So I just spent the last 30 days wearing this ultra forward experience in every activity that I can think of except for yard work. And the idea was to see how it held up for the long haul, as in like everyday life, running, walking, standing all day at work, you know, going through activities. All right. So the video is going to be the last 30 days and just basically me and my thoughts and some of the activities that I've done with this ultra forward experience. And I got to say, the results are actually a little bit more surprising than what I was originally expecting for this shoe, which is, you know, their first introduction to drop an offset versus their traditional zero millimeter drop that they've done in the past. This is a four millimeter drop there on your screen are the specs. And without further ado, let's jump into the last 30 days with the ultra forward experience. Dad stress test by me right now. Day one with the ultra forward experience here. Uh, so far so good, but uh, <laughs> it is still early in the challenge. Heading up to the amusement park. Let the ultimate shoe durability test begin. Over here at Valley Fair, just finished up with Thunder Canyon water ride, and uh, everything on me got soaked. Me and one of my kiddos, and uh, my wife somehow ended up nice and dry. But the shoes have been officially initiated; they are totally, totally soaked. So, if anything, it'll still be a opportunity to see how quickly they can dry. Oh yeah, nice and wet. Squish, squish, squish. Look at that. See right through it. Well, they dried up pretty quick, about 10,000 steps for the day here. Uh, that's day one, and we're just going to kind of shut things down for today and then start day two tomorrow. Um, we uh, set up some trips, so we're going to be having a lot more walking here for the Ultra Ford Experience. Day two. Movie theater. Good for walking the dog. So the shoes definitely feel like they're breaking in. Uh, the heel feels good. You know, I have noticed is that the cushioning for these shoes is a little bit harder, uh, not nearly as soft as uh, some of the other ultra shoes. And I gotta say for what I'm using it for, you know, kind of day-to-day -day use, um, it's actually kind of nice. Sometimes that overly squish, you know, that uh, can happen in some of the uh, foams, uh, it's just not preferable over time. You know, it actually uh, increases motion of the foot. Uh, for me anyway, especially uh, towards the, the back of my foot. And so having a little bit of a more uh, resilient, less accommodative foam, um, you know, tends to uh, feel good over the long haul. Um, but uh, yeah, I haven't run in these yet, so that is to be determined. I used to have this uh, issue about uh, running shoes only being used for running, and uh, those are the rules. But, uh, <laughs> Life also happens in between sessions of running. So I am interested in seeing how shoes perform for non-running activities as well. So that's what we're doing. Thanks for, uh, thanks for following along. And just like that, we're running at them. Here's an opportunity now to see how they do. Ooh, they feel peppy. Peppy under steppy. That's nice. Day three. And there we go. First mile in forever. First mile forever, right here on the channel. There we go, that was a mile, so. All right, that was a mile in. Here we are, day nine of the 30 day challenge with the ultra forward experience. That was uh, my first official run with it. Uh, it was a mile with the dog there while uh, uh, I had a chance to go for it, and I did, and I uh, tried to get up to speed there. Um, energy return, all right? Definitely obvious. Um, you know, having gone from other uh, Ultra Zero Drop shoes to the four millimeter is quite obvious that there is a drop there. Um, it feels like you're up on your toes and you're moving along. Um, you know, I was, I was pushing the pace a little bit just to see what, what happened, and there is quite a bit of energy return. Um, as far as the heel goes, the heel felt actually quite nice. Um, 
additional additional to around the heel collar where it touches the top of the the shoe and that touches your your foot that's quite nice and secure with those pads that are in there uh there's actually some material feels like kind of built into the shoe itself around the heel that uh that goes in all the way down to the midsole which um i, I kind of feel that security um to keep my heel locked into place as we're going along during the run is some minor slipping that I felt kind of in the toe box, which, you know, being an ultra shoe, um, it's something to be aware of that the toe box is quite wide on these shoes, um, but the midfoot should be fairly secure, as in uh, not sloppy at all. <clears throat> of course, there's different fits and different makes of ultra, so you gotta find the right one for you. But overall, uh, shouldn't be too much. However, I am wearing some uh, like dressier work socks here that uh, are prone to probably be a little bit more slippery. So I will give it another go, probably in some running specific socks later on that have a bit more traction to them. So I'm not gonna fall ultra for that uh, at this point. Um, overall, I uh, did stand the entire shift um, back at work today, uh, walking around. So several thousand steps uh, just, just in doing that. And I gotta say, um, felt pretty good. You know, my, uh, my typical stuff, my knees, my back, and all that don't hurt quite as much. Um, I don't have any kind of insert in the shoe. You know, it's just a straight up um, insert that you saw whenever I pulled it out during the initial um, test there. You know, it might can benefit from, from an uh, orthotic or a sh uh, insert, but that's your personal preference. Um, for me, I might could use it just in the future here. All right, so that's what I got so far, day nine. Let's keep going. Got another mile with this pretty girl right here. Oh, good girl. Right, parade mode. Setting up our little campsite. Nope, not TikTok. It's a YouTube. Our day 10 of the Ultra Ford experience and we are at a parade. Um, I gotta say, these shoes are definitely warming up for me. Uh, the extra room in the toe box and just that security around the heel collar, very nice for walking, standing, um, just life in general. And been on our feet for quite a bit, walking a whole bunch here in the summer. One of the hottest summers here that uh, we can remember here in Minnesota. Also one of the wettest. And these shoes have just, you know, continued. All right, we're 10 days into a 30 day challenge, so. We'll see how things continue, but so far so good as far as the ultra border experience being a all around bad shoe. <laughs> Midwest, parade mode, it's all serious business, you know? Here's some little sidewalls. Basically the material starts here for the midsole, but these are little sidewalls along this, here. Let's see if they got them on the right side here. Yep, a little bit of a sidewall. So looking straight down on it, maybe a little bit more exaggerated on the inside, not so much on the outside here. But uh, if you think that this is the amount of midsole, you're wrong, it's actually this much. <laughs> Good experience with the ultra forward experience. It's a fun challenge. And here too, this is where the, uh, the asphalt midsole begins under your foot and this is kind of the little sidewall here. But this is nice because it kind of keeps that, hopefully it feels like it keeps that foot from sliding around. Otherwise this material would come all the way down to, the, to here without any kind of, you know, barrier uh, from the material to the actual, you know, um, midsole itself allowing that foot to slide around. So, you know, the foot, my bot the bottom of my foot is actually down here, right there. And then you've got this bumper and then here's kind of the middle of my foot on over. And um, yeah, same with the heel. Uh, it's nice that they've considered that to like sink down into the shoe uh, versus being directly on top of a slab of foam. Not the actual forefoot. Like this is where the, the foot is and then this is the, uh, the bottom here. Look at that platform. That landing platform is nice and wide, way wider than my foot. My foot is here and then the platform is a lot wider. So that's kind of cool how it slants this way and then this way. Uh, here we are. Got to forward experience. Getting some miles in. It's happening, people. We got the rough wear harness on the dog. We got the ultra forward experience on the dad. Life's good, buddy. Life is good. <laughs> All right, there we are. 
Two and a quarter miles in the books. Woo, I'll take it. Oh, River and I just went on our run here. Oh, good girl, good girl. And man, it is muggy. So we're up here in Minnesota and I'm from Georgia originally. So I think about humidity and heat and I think about Georgia. Oh man. So the vibe I'm getting out here is uh, a little bit like that, but not nearly as, as bad. I actually started my running activities and hobbies back in Georgia. Um, so that was it with the uh, ultra forward experience for the day. Um, wet traction, it actually did really well in. Um, the ventilation of the shoe is simply not there. My feet felt like they were in like Dutch ovens going in and around. It could be the humidity and everything, but you know, it's 2024 and there's like lots of other shoes that can handle the humidity. Minus the Nike Invincible, which will, that's a different, that's a different story. Anyways, um, not great for ventilation in my experience, but I also, as you can see, sweat quite a bit. So any other fellow heavy sweaters, <laughs> click like, comment, comment down below. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna keep this, uh, we're gonna keep this 30 day challenge going. And that's some wear and tear today. Well, I gotta say that the uh, Ford experience is um, definitely breaking in. And if anything, it feels a lot more peppy, energetic than it originally did. I mean, I just, <laughs> I'm zipping along here and, uh, real happy with um, the feeling of the step of the ultra here. You know, where uh, I normally have a little pressure points just behind my big toe, both sides. Not the case here. I mean, less than a month in, by this point, oh, the shoes have already started to show their wear, at least in my case. Not so much for this one. So, pretty happy. Yeah, remember the thing I said about energy return with these shoes? Oh my goodness. Wow. I'm like dropping like 620 miles out here. Of course, having the dog as a speed boost doesn't help with these shoes, man. They feel lively and poppy. Maybe the four millimeters does something. Who knows? Woo, here we go. Hey, a tired puppy is a quiet puppy, if you know what I mean. Especially at like 1 a.m., 1 in the morning. <laughs> Oh, can't forget Frankie. Gotta take Mr. Frankie on a run here. What are you, 10 and a half, 11 years old? We used to run all the time. Oh, Frank and me and my wife, back in the day, back when we lived in Hawaii. Oh, Frankie's from Hawaii, he's a Hawaiian dog. He's like in this heat. <laughs> Just like that, we're off to go see fireworks. Look, I know I'm waxing philosophical here, but it's just interesting how, you know, you're cho you change your clothes and, and wear different things, but your shoes are some of the things that remain the, the most consistent and are with you most of your life in several months at a time. Uh, it's just interesting that they go with you wherever you go and they kind of carry your history with you. I know it's a little bit philosophical that out there, but it just kind of makes me think about that during a video like this. So yeah, a little bit of history all embedded in the shoes. Well, one thing I can say about the ultra forward experience is try not to get them too wet. Went out to water the garden through some wet grass this morning. It took, I'd say, about seven to eight hours to fully dry out. And they weren't sopping wet or anything, but man, there is zero to no drying out of these shoes once once it's done. I mean, granted, the socks were in there too, and they got a little bit wet. So that could be part of it too. But um, I don't know, man. Try not to go through many sprinklers in these shoes. The Ultra is not doing much in the way of absorption, cushioning, even though it's not uncomfortable. What it does is have a lot of energy return. Feels spring loaded. Um, even with this four millimeter drop, it just makes walking and running seem more efficient. It's a, it's a very unique feeling shoe. You know, it's uh it's got a lot of potential here. And even after walking around on it for almost a month now, it still feels very lively. Yeah, thinking about walking, it definitely has a really smooth heel to toe transition. It doesn't really have that much of a rocker bottom, um, but uh, it's just super smooth.
Of course, when going downhill, there's a little bit more heel motion than I would like. I can feel the shoe moving around, especially in a uh, in a sock. Um, and I feel it when going downhill while running too. But it's just a bit more noticeable when walking. Oh, one more thing. So this test that I'm doing, I'm doing a little bit of running, but by golly, this is like the fastest shoe I've had on my feet in some time. And it's ironic in a way because I'm doing a 30 day dad stress challenge on it and not really doing like an official run video on it, you know? But I think it's the four millimeter drop. I think it's the uh, natural toe box. I'm allowed to get my toes out and roll off my big toe. As you know from my videos, I tend to supinate coming down on the uh, outside of my foot and you know, I'm able to, I guess, roll through that big toe as uh, as I push off. Plus, the shoe just, it feels like I have a tendency to be on the balls of my feet, not so much on the flat, definitely not on the heels, um, and just kind of stay that way throughout the run. I keep looking down at my watch and I think, I think the satellite's ro broken or something, but it's not. I mean, I'm out there sprinting, you know, with one of the kids on the bikes and I'm doing like 450 flat. 450 flat in dad shorts, okay? Dad shorts, dad socks, Snoopy shirt, everyday sunglasses. I don't know what the heck is going on, man. I don't know. But uh, there's, the, <laughs> there's the Ultra Ford experience for you. Oh, let me catch my breath. You, yes, you, subscribe. Let's go, subscribe. The fit is just brilliant. If it's nice and snug across the top of my midfoot, the uh, first and fifth MTP, metatellar, metatarsophalangeal joint of my feet. My toes do not feel restricted in the slightest. In fact, my big toe, I think, is allowed to stay straight um, uh, in relation to the rest of my foot, not bent, you know, in a crazy direction like some other shoes. It is a theory of mine. Also, the heel is not massively tight. It's not loose by any means. It's just a comfortable shoe. Didn't expect it, but here it is. And there you have it. And so the Ultra Ford experience did indeed survive the last month and it did way better than expected. Uh, the wear and tear on the shoe is not nearly what I expected. I expected quite a bit of balding of the rubber and I didn't have any of that as well. Not a ton of creasing of the midsole and the toe box on this shoe actually being so wide, I think set it apart. Uh, in terms of it now being a four millimeter drop shoe and it just being oh so comfortable, especially on my feet for several hours at a time uh, at my job. You know, we're looking at at least, you know, eight, nine hours at a pop there, plus walks, plus running. Um, you know, I got some uh, gardening done in here. So I know I said originally that we weren't gonna do yard work, but we did a little bit of that here as well and getting it completely soaked at the water park. That was kind of fun. <laughs> that was day one. <laughs> <laughs> but that's dad life. That's dad life. Anyways, so I hope you enjoyed that 30 day little stress test on this shoe here. If you're interested in more 30 day challenges here, let me know down in the comments so we can certainly arrange that. I have plenty of shoes and I do a lot of activities, especially outside of running as a dad. So I can definitely put these shoes through the paces. All right, everybody, I appreciate it. So if you wouldn't mind, go ahead and liking this video. That tells me on YouTube that you really appreciated the content, found value in it. I will put a link to this shoe in the description. I think it will be worth the recommendation. It's on sale. This is the previous iteration. There's the second version out now. Um, and it might be worth you picking up and just having for everyday life. That four millimeter drop for me was really sweet. All right. It wasn't too much. It wasn't too little. It was just right in the center. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> yeah. White was probably not the best choice. Oh, well.